Hey guys, I'm Evan from Race Tech Electric. Uh, we're going to show you how our stator and voltage regulator test bench works. So right here we've got a regulator rectifier unit off of a uh, early 80s GS 450. Um, we had uh, a customer having some questions about whether or not the regulator was working. So we're going to put it on the test bench real quick and let them know whether or not it works. So here's our test bench. Um, we have our flywheel mount right here. We can chalk up any type of flywheel from any bike. Um, we have our stator mount right here, and stator is mounted inside the flywheel, which if you bring the video around here you can see that. So you can see how the flywheel spins around the stator here. What we actually have chalked up right now is a KLR650 uh, stator and flywheel, which gives us a good three phase output. We use it for a lot of testing, it's a good generic stator. Um, some of the other functions, here's our motor controller here that uh, lets us control uh, motor RPM. Um, out of this, we power our big three-phase motor. Uh, it's a, I think, three-horsepower motor. We use a belt drive over here to turn our flywheel. And on the back here, we have large capacitors that we use to simulate a battery in the charging system. We have all sorts of load resistors and all the switches here so we can switch them in and out to simulate loads on a bike's uh, charging system, like your headlight, heated grips, all sorts of different things. We have our meters up here. This measures uh, current um, coming out of the capacitors, so this is directly related to current coming out of your charging system, out of your stator. And then we have a voltage meter here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and test um, this regulator rectifier. We have it hooked up with some jumpers right now to the three-phase output of this KLR stator. And here's our input right here. Three, uh, three wires, three phase input from the stator. And then we have our DC output from the regulator, uh, battery plus, battery minus. We're gonna power up the system real quick. We'll show you how it works. Turn on our cooling fans for the resistors. And we've got our controller on. So we're gonna go ahead and spin this up. Now this regulator was suspected to have the regulation uh, side fail. So we're gonna test that. As we increase RPM, we have no load on the system right now. As we increase RPM, we should see the regulator hold the voltage down to about 14.6 volts. Now, as you can see on this scale, we're already at about 16 volts with no load whatsoever. So that tells us right away, now we see it increase to about 18, 19 volts. That tells us immediately that the regulation uh, system on this regulator is not working. It's not holding down the voltage at all. So just to test that everything else is working correctly, we'll swap on a couple loads. There's about 220 watts. Um, you see our voltage drop now to about 9 volts, and we're drawing about 11 amps of current. So everything works fine on the rectifier side. The stator's producing current, the rectifier's working just fine, converting it to DC current, but the regulation system is not working at all. Which we can see if we swap these loads back off, our voltage immediately hits a peak up upwards of 20 volts. So we know right away that the regulator is not working, but the rectifier inside is. Since that's not serviceable, this whole uh, regulator rectifier unit is going to need to be replaced. So this is one of the services we offer. If you have a questionable stator or regulator you'd like to test, uh, just get a hold of us at www.racetechelectric.com.